Remove the lid. And in threat posture already. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. So I just bought two of these tarantulas from my friend. It is the Ornithoctonus species Suratani. I actually have the Ornithoctonus species Uthaitani, which is over here. This is my Uthaitani. And then the ones that I got now are the Suratani. I just came back and I noticed something really, really sad. So over here, this is my grandma Stola Iheringi. Now, she was at this position since yesterday. I thought that she was about to molt because as you can see, her abdomen is quite dark. So that's one sign that they're going to molt. And then also she just refused food. So that's another sign that she was going to molt. But then today I noticed that she's in the same position as yesterday. And at first I thought she was still okay because no death curl. However, I touched her and not a single movement. So yeah, she passed away you guys. I, I don't know why, I don't know how, but she just passed away for no reason whatsoever. This is my only Grandma Stola Iheringi. Actually, no, this is not my only Grandma Stola Iheringi. Let me show you. So over here, I actually have a male Grandma Stola Iheringi over here. You can see it's over there. Yeah. Okay, so that's my male Grandma Stola Iheringi. I was hoping that my female will mature and we can pair him with her. But unfortunately, she decided that yesterday was her last day. Yeah, she was over here, I thought, because usually she doesn't really move much, she just chills. So I thought that's what she was doing, just chilling at the side. And then today I come and I see her at the same spot. And yeah, I decided to touch her and she just... This is one of my favorite tarantulas and it passed away for no reason. She's been in this enclosure for so long, for years. And I don't see the problem. The enclosure is perfect. The substrate is not fully dry. So over here, it's pretty much damp. And I keep this corner of the place damp as well, but over here is dry. So she has like a gradient. And that is perfect for Grandma Stola Iheringis. But unfortunately, today she just decided to she decided to pass away, you guys. I don't even know. I didn't. I... Oh my gosh. I got two tarantulas, and of course, I have to come back with a dead one. So, yeah, I don't know what the cause of it was, but I just noticed this leg is quite small. Was it a bad mold from the previous mold? I'm not even sure. But yeah, she's already kind of stiff. So. I think she just died yesterday. You see, she's not even uh, like dehydrated. She is the perfect tarantula size abdomen, not so plump, not so big and obese. And it's just perfect. And she just died for no reason whatsoever. <sighs> this is one downside about keeping tarantulas that I've noticed because they just, they can just die for no reason whatsoever. You can keep them the exact same for years and no changes. And one day they can just be like, they can just drop dead. So I'm not sure exactly why she passed away. But then again, when I got her, since I got her, she was never really the active Grandma Stomach Ehe Ringy. She eats very occasionally. She doesn't always eat. Because these guys, you know that if you guys keep Gramastola Iheringis, you will know that they are ferocious eaters for Gramastolas. I've read that. And unfortunately for this girl, she wasn't that type. She had a whole different personality. And today she just unfortunately passed away for no reason whatsoever. <sighs> I don't even know what to do now, man. I just, every time a tarantula dies, I just go like... I just, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like the hobby is like no meaning because they just die. I mean, not all die. Like my, my, my Nando Chromatis over here, she's just enjoying life beside the water dish. And this one, she just, why does it always have to be my favorite tarantula? The ones that I like and it has always to be the female. 
so don't know man anyways just so you know i got this girl at an adult size already this is the adult size but i don't think it is the maximum size she is about six inches and these guys i heard they get eight inches now i got this girl a couple years back and she only molted with me twice so she never really grew a lot with me i got her pretty much at five and a half inches and now she's about six inches so i don't know how old she is she could have died from old age not a clue but yeah very very unfortunate and uncalled for and just unexpected yeah all the words just running through my head <sighs> okay so guys it turns out to be a stuck mold because yeah. we are don't in the you. You middle the of hair. we're in the middle of preserving her we're gonna taxidermy her but as you can see she managed to take out this part of the abdomen and the abdomen seems to be intact in yeah. so it's a stuck molt you can see all the hairs walking in the water yeah, walking in the water flying in the water mm. swimming but yeah i said don't touch it you're not wearing gloves yeah so Turns out to be a stuck mold. No idea why yeah. the enclosure was humid enough. But it's humidity. only the butt part, though. Yeah, it's not the wait. So that means the 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 carapace part is okay. Ah, everything is so okay. So she only tried to mold the abdomen. Uh -huh. That's so weird. Oh my gosh. So she only tried to mold the abdomen for some reason and not her whole body. Yeah. What? Okay. <sighs> so much unfortunate events when keeping these animals. The Suratani, we're going to be rehousing them into these enclosures. I've put a lot of substrate, very, very deep substrate for them. So, yeah, this one's okay. This one is mean. So, in the middle of filming this taxidermy one but we will be we we are doing this video i'm doing this video she's doing that video so yeah let's see how this goes so that is the ornithoctonus species suratani and we're gonna get it into the enclosure i'm not sure if it'll bolt okay looks to be in a not so bad mood today there we go so this, hopefully, oh, oh, okay. So this is the enclosure for the Suratani. Okay, nice. So now let's do the mean one. Are they friendly? Not at all. Is she friendly? This one's crazy. Remove the lid. Okay. And in third posture already. Oh, oh my one. gosh. Okay. Oh. Hello. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Why the color is so weird? So cool. Yep, it's I think this one's older because the color is different than that one. Used to be Terraphosa Apophysis and Lesidora striatopes. No longer because these guys are in the bigger enclosures now. These ones are done. Now we are going to continue with the taxidermy, which is in which is in a separate video. So this video is done. This one's still mean.